Hey, another quick video from Fast Tech. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the battery on your PS4 DualShock 4 controller. Now, if your PS4 controller uh, is not holding a charge, uh, which means if uh, it, it doesn't work wirelessly anymore and you have to plug the USB cable in for it to connect to your PS4, and as soon as you disconnect the cable, it, it stops working, you most likely need a new battery pack in your, in your controller, and we sell that on our website. I'm going to put a link in the description for that. So uh, basically what happens is after two to three years of play, the lithium ion cells and the batteries, they start to die and that's when you have to replace them. Uh, and like I said, the best way to tell is uh, if you plug it in and it works and you, as soon as you unplug it, it stops working, then you need a new battery. Also, if, it's, if it only holds a charge for uh, 20 minutes or less or maybe 10 minutes and then you have to recharge the controller, that means you also have a dying battery. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that job today so let's get started all right guys so we're going to be replacing a battery on a ps4 dualshock 4 controller uh, now this applies to all ps4 controllers some of them look slightly different on the inside because there's different model numbers this is one of the first gen ps4 controllers but like i said even the newer ones they they, they look uh, very similar on the inside to this and the batteries are all the same on all of them and we sell the battery on our website at www.fasttech.ca the original OEM batteries and uh, you can buy them from our website you only need to do this if your controller is not holding a charge so that means if you plug it in via USB it works with the USB plugged in but it stops working if the, the cable gets unplugged or it works only for a little uh, while before it stops working if it's unplugged that means your battery's dying and you need a new battery and replacing the battery will fix that problem we're gonna flip the controller over with our, with our Phillips screwdriver we also sell the screwdriver on our website um, you need this to open the PS4 controller and I'm gonna put a link in the description for that so we're gonna flip the controller over and there's gonna be four screws here and we're gonna take these screws out Once we have the screws removed, we're going to flip the controller over again and we're going to start separating these two plastic pieces right here. Then it's going to come apart. When it, once it comes apart, don't worry, just give it a bit of a pull. It's going to come apart. And what you want to do is you want to try to take the back plate off without having the triggers come off because then you're going to have to put them back on again. But in some cases they might come off even if you're careful with them. Uh, like. Just like right now, uh, they came. One of them came off, but that's okay. No big deal. Uh, once you have the back plate off, you're gonna pull on, pull this ribbon cable out, and now uh, the back piece with the charging port uh, has been removed. Okay, we're gonna put the trigger back in. We're gonna make sure that it goes over the spring here. Okay, it just cl clicks back in place. The other one came out too. I'm gonna put the trigger back in on this side. Okay, so here's our battery, okay? We're gonna lift it out, okay? Like so. And we're gonna pull this connector out, like that. We're gonna put our old battery on the side, put our new battery in, and connect the connector, and we're gonna Tuck the cable in on this hook where, like it was before. I'm gonna put the battery in. I'm gonna install the back plate on. I'll connect the ribbon cable in like this. Okay. Now we're gonna put the back plate back on, and the, the side with the triggers goes in first, like so, like that triggers go through and then you're gonna want to push these pieces in like this and then finally it just clicks in place 
And now we're gonna put the screws back in and we're gonna be done. Yeah, looks like it's coming on now already. I press the PS button and the light's coming on, which it wasn't doing before. That means this controller's gonna hold the charge again. All right, once all the screws are in, we're done. Uh, we're just gonna make sure it, it turns on again, and it does. Uh, so there you have it. Another repair video from Fast Tech. Uh, guys, again, all the parts needed for this job uh, are in the description box, including the screwdriver here and the battery. Uh, and we also sell all other PS4 parts, including all other PS, all PS4 controller parts. So don't forget to check us out at fasttech.ca. Or you can also check us out at fasttechstore.com. That's fasttechstore.com. Uh, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. And we'll catch you in the next one.